I'm Aliyah Nicole, and you're watching Disney Channel. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> Hola, como estas? I guess all the Spanish that I know. What's up, y'all? Aliyah Nicole here, and this is a DCP conversation. In this video, we're going to be talking about what it feels like to be stuck in submission. <laughs> For those who have applied to the DCP or are planning on applying, submission is what we DCP hopefuls like to call the abyss. We don't know what it means. We don't know where it goes. We just know we're here and we're forced to just wait and wait. When I applied for the DCP, I didn't even know that it was a bad thing to be in submission. Until I got caught up in that Facebook group. Y'all, let me tell you something about this Facebook group. It is, it is very nice. It's a very nice place to meet new people and to talk about Disney and to, to share all your Disney fanaticism. That's not a word, but share all of that with people who are just like you. It's a great place. But being caught up in that group, y'all, just... Too much of a good thing is not a good thing because then you start reading everything, then you start reading too much and everything, then you think you start seeing Disney signs everywhere you go and it gets to you. It gets to you. But like I was saying, I found out about the submission thing because like most DCP hopefuls, we watch a lot of DCP videos like this one. We watch some of people through the application process who are going through the program and I think right after I submitted my application, it probably did say submission. I have no idea. Um, I didn't look. So right after I applied, I didn't even think to look at my dashboard. Just like any job application, I wasn't expecting to hear back from these people the next day. But apparently, you got some people that hear back from them 20 minutes after they submitted their application. I'm like, what? And I didn't know about this until I got in this Facebook group. So these people talking about they got WBIs, which is a web-based interview. And I'm just like... I applied yesterday and I, I'm still, I didn't hear nothing. For those who don't know what the application process is, let me break it down really, really, really quick. First, you submit your application and then you move on to a web-based interview, aka WBI. If you pass that WBI, then you get invited to do a PI, which is a phone interview. If you pass the phone interview, guess what happens? You get offered the job. Me, on the other hand, I'm still stuck at stage one. I submitted my application and I'm in that stage between application and web-based interview submission i haven't even had a chance to prove to disney that i'm a good catch just like many other people out there who are in submission and like i was saying so i didn't even know or even think that being in submission was a bad thing until i got caught up in the facebook group and everybody was like well what does it mean and 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 is it really a bad thing and what has happened to people who have been in submission and has anyone ever gotten out of submission and if you got out of submission what did you do and what was your application it was like oh my god it was just so much and i was like oh my god but the bottom line is we don't really know what submission means but people have their theories and they have their ways of thinking when it comes to how you even end up in submission but the truth is none of us know what we're talking about you really want to know what being submission feels like it's like when you want something but you don't really know if you're gonna get it or not example say for instance you and your family ordered pizza last night and you went off to school and you're like oh my gosh I really want some pizza when I get home but what if my sister already ate it you get home and you found out either one is still there or two somebody ate it and it's gone that's how being in submission feels like it's like you want something you have a chance of getting it but there's also a chance that you won't i mean there have been people who have been in submission all the way until the last day of application season and then got nlic how much more disrespectful can that be but I guess Disney has their ways of doing things and this is just one of their ways and we just have to deal with it. Now how you deal with being in submission just depends on what level you are on when it comes to how bad you want the job. So we have level 10. This is the extremist. The person who is a Disney fanatic. They live and breathe Disney. They must work at Disney. It is their life's purpose to work at Disney. If they don't get this job, they just might slap themselves. That's how bad they want it. They need this job. They can't live 
without this job. They check their dashboard every second of the day and email recruiters asking them 10 times a week, when will I get out of submission? When will there be another wave? Will there be another wave? We don't know. We'll find out next week on this episode of... Okay, so you get the point. The second type of level you could be on is, I'll say, a number five. This is the person who, they apply for the job for a reason. They have their reasons as to why they apply. Also, make sure you check out that video. I'll put it in the iCard above. It is about why you should apply to the Disney College program as well as why I apply. So make sure you watch that after this video. So like I was saying, this person has a reason why they applied to this internship. And they really do want the job. But at the same time, they try not to worry about it too much. So they try to occupy their time doing other things. So it's like they want the job, but they'll be okay if they don't get it. And then you have the person who was on level one, who they just don't care if they get it or if they don't. They're really nonchalant about the situation. It's just like, if they get it, they get it. If they don't, they don't. Now, neither one of these levels are better or worse than the other. Now, what people on these different levels have to do is occupy their time until they actually hear back from Disney. So the best thing that you can do when you're stuck in submission is to just keep on doing what you were doing prior to applying to the job. If you're in college, keep on going to your classes, keep on being involved on campus, keep on working your part-time job. If you just graduated like me, you know, if you still ain't got no job, well, you know, just keep on searching for a job. I'll let you guys in a little bit on what I've been doing to occupy my time on waiting to get out of submission. I've been trying to worry about what I'm going to do next. And that's my main priority right now is figuring out what's my next step. Am I going to move somewhere new? Am I going to get a job in my city or am I going to get a job out of my city? We don't know. But as of right now, you know, I'm on the job search. But I'm also keeping up with this YouTube channel because I host a college series on this channel called Thrive During College. And with the DCP Conversations, it's something that's DCP related and ironically, it does keep my mind off of submission. But at the same time, of course, I still think about it. Like, I'll probably go check my dashboard after I finish recording this video. So if you're currently in submission, I wish you the best of luck on getting out. Let's hope these character auditions save us. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a huge thumbs up if you did. And subscribe to this channel. Hit subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. I'm Leah Nicole. Don't forget to have a magical day. Hey!